For this video, I'm going to go over uh, what I believe to be the quickest and simplest way to use a MIDI controller with any VST in FL Studio. Uh, so you can see I'm in FL Studio 12, and for this example, I'm going to be using Serum. So let's get down to it. Um, so I have this growl that I made in Serum. So that's sounding pretty good. Um, and what I want to do is modulate that growl using my MIDI controller. So I'm going to use the knobs up here. So first, um, we, what we want to do is uh, leverage Serum's macro knobs to make things even easier for us. So rather than me linking my controller directly to any one of these random knobs and all these oscillators, um, I can hook multiple things up to these macro knobs and then just link my controller to these macro knobs. So let's, uh, let's just quickly grab some stuff. Let's put mod one down here on the LFO rate, um, and let's put um, mod 2 on the filter cutoff, and let's put uh, mod 3 on our warp up here. Just push that out. Okay, so that, that should give us um, some interesting sonic results out of that. So now the next thing that we want to do is actually link these these macro knobs to the MIDI controller. So um, it's it's pretty simple. All you really have to do is come up here to the top and click this multi-link to controllers button. Um, and if you're on FL uh, 10 or 11, I think it's like a it's like a red light or something, but you'll find the button up there. Just look for it. Hotkey says Control J if that helps you. But anyways, just left click on that. Once you do that, um, FL is going to say, okay, start tweaking the controllers that you want that you know you, you want to map into your MIDI. So we want to map these three knobs right here because that's what we just did. So just tweak that, tweak that, and then tweak that. And remember the order that you tweaked all your knobs in because it's going to be important when you get to the um, actual MIDI mapping. So once you've done that, come back up here to the button that's probably lit up, right click on it, and say override generic links. So it's going to bring up this little wrapper window here. And what you want to do now is come over to your MIDI and preserving the order that you tweak the knobs in, in the VST, do the same thing on your MIDI. So I can see that I want those three macro knobs in Serum to map to the knobs I have right here on the top of my MIDI. So let's do one, two, three. And it's that easy. Now everything I have is going to be mapped into those, into three steam sorry, into these three knobs from what we just set up in Serum. So what I could have done is name these a little bit better so it's easier to follow. So let me go back and just do LFO. What was this one? Uh, filter. And what was the third one? Warp, I think. So let's try playing, let's try playing this now and using our MIDI knobs to see, uh, see if this worked. <laughs> Okay, so the LFO is good. Filter's good. And the warp's good. So, um, it's really that simple. Uh, there are a bunch of different ways you can map this stuff, but I like doing it just the simple native FL way because there's no like extra complicated garbage that you have to do. Um, and lastly, what I will go over uh, just real quick is what you basically just set up. So what just happened is that I wrote a configuration file into my FL directory. So if I come over here or right click anything and say open Windows shell menu, it'll, it's just going to bring up your FL Studio directory. Um, so what you want to do is go to FL Studio, System, Config, and Mapping. And inside of here you can click Generic, Local, and that mapping that I just set up is going to be right here. So they called it Port-1 FL Mapping. I'm not sure what the naming convention is on these files, but this file is the one that we just created um, you know, by mapping the stuff. I can see over here, Date Modified was you know, right now. So what you actually can do is open this up. It's just straight up a raw XML file. So 
you can actually open this stuff up and you can see like all your different control parameters you set up. You can actually change some of this configuration. You can change the smoothing, the speed. And uh, you know, depending on what you're doing, um, it, you might have a lot more options here. So I can see that you know, here's my control parameter one for Serum, control parameter two and three. So it's pretty neat that you can just open all this right up and see it. Um, and again, that, that directory, what you're looking for is FL Studio 12 system config mapping general local. And then, um, you know, I'm not sure why they named the file that way, but that's the way they name it. Um, and if, if you didn't want this mapping for whatever reason, you could just straight up delete it and then, you know, reopen FL Studio and, uh, it would be gone. So if you messed something up, if you didn't want that mapping anymore, you can just straight up delete it. Or you can leave it there, and any new project, FL Studio, you make, um, whatever the VST was that you that you mapped it to, in this case Serum, that, that'll hold, that'll retain across projects. So that's pretty neat. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, again, I just wanted to try and describe the, like, <laughs> the bare bones simplest way to uh, get a uh, MIDI controller working with uh, VSTs in FL Studio. So uh, I think that's it for this video. Um, thanks for sticking around and I'll put that I'll put that growl preset in the description too just because uh, why not I'm sure someone will ask for it so I can put that down there. Um, yeah uh, thanks for watching. Peace out guys.